What's up, YouTube? Sorry I've been away. I was traveling last week. I got to go to Texas, flew into Dallas, drove to Waco, drove to Fredericksburg, drove to Kerrville to my brother's new house on the golf course, and then we went out to visit his ranch about 35 miles north of Kerrville. Totally, totally cool. So we were out in Texas Hill Country, and uh, it's a really interesting type of topography. My brother's place is really, really cool. It's situated with a few houses on the property. It's a couple hundred acres, and my brother's wife's family owns several large ranches out in this area, something like a total of 10,000 acres or something like that. But uh, this was a truly wonderful vacation. Now, my brother's one of the coolest guys I know. He is the vice president of Lucasfilm. Before that, he had been the vice president of HBO, and he oversaw everything from The Sopranos all the way to the purchase of the books for Game of Thrones. He oversaw the biggest Emmy run in history, really. And uh, what an amazing thing that they were able to do at HBO because now we have great television shows we didn't used to have them. Watch an old Magnum PI, and you'll know what I'm talking about. But that's super cool. So it was great to get to visit, Michael. But real quick, I want to bring you up to speed on a couple of things. This morning, I went out and chipped and putted. This is week seven of focusing on my short game. The first time I did my 45-minute chip-in drill, I chipped in four balls. Next time was five balls. I had hit 11 twice before I went on vacation. Today, I chipped in 13 in 45 minutes. I was like, man, when is that buzzer going to go off? But the craziest thing was I'm not doing bump and runs now. I actually was chipping with my 54 degree wedge and hitting chips that I had to fly over fringe shots that I actually required my 54 degree wedge to hit. And I made 13 of them it's it's crazy it's crazy then i did my up and down drill where you just take one ball and so i played 18 holes and i was four over for 18 holes so that means i got up and down 14 times so i my short game is worlds away from where it was when i started guys i don't know what to tell you but this video when i visit my brother michael I actually try out his driver. He was swinging a driver he cut down for his son when he was like 12 or 13. And I hit one drive with it, dead straight, made a birdie, and I ended up sawing off one of my shafts like, oh my God, that's going to be the next video. Now, I have to tell you, I'm having so much fun with my golf because of my over-the-top miracle swing. Yeah. My swing evolution is basically concluded. I just do this swing. It's the best thing I've found in 12 years of searching, and I want you to have this swing. So pick up the over-the-top miracle swing or pick up MSE TV, okay? We did a price drop for MSE TV. You really should get on board. It's the best deal. And I'm going to keep on sharing all my short game secrets on MSE TV. I've had like five short game evolutions in the last seven weeks. It's like I've done so many different things. I mean, I'm practicing 15 hours a week on my short game. Multiply that times six. That's a lot of short game practice. So I've got a lot of things to share with you. The next MSE intensive is coming up quick, September 3rd and 4th. I got two spots left. Hit me up if you want a weekend of, of life-changing, transformational golf practice. My email is Christo at MySwingEvolution.com. You should come on out. And if you want to book a lesson, I have people that fly in from around the country to book a full-day session with me. Or maybe just a few hours if you want to do that. Or if you're local, you can get a lesson package. I love helping golfers reach their potential. So take a look at this golf course that was designed by Byron Nelson. And he said, if I only had one course to play, it'd be River Hill. Hey guys, I'm here in uh, Texas in Kerrville. And look at this, if I only had one golf course to play, it would be River Hill. 
Byron Nelson. Did he create make this place? Yeah, he did. I think so hey guys, here's Michael, my my brother. Hey man. So at any rate, this is his home course. He just bought a house here. And uh, River Hill is gonna be quite a treat. I'm gonna be playing with the old Hogan golf clubs. I think we're just sneaking out for nine holes, but I'm super duper excited. Kerrville, Texas, River Hill Golf Club. All right, here we are at Majestic River Hill Golf Club. And it really is a beautiful, beautiful environment. Great areas to practice, nice driving range. But guys, just a note, see what this guy's doing out here? Never do this on the chipping green. It makes you look like an amateur. You, your balls are bumping in, into each other and nobody else can even practice. I never chip with more than three golf balls. So when you get to the driving range, you know, it's a much different type of grass than we have down in California. You know, it's a lot more wiry, but check out these sticks I'm playing with. These are Hogan radials. I believe that these are the only game quote improvement clubs that you should ever try. They, they basically have a real heavy sole, so the center of gravity is very low. And dang, they are easy to hit without getting into the crazy cavity back stuff. And here we have a great statue of the man himself, Byron Nelson. He designed this course and he said if he only had one course to play, it'd be here. Look at the deer. The wildlife is unbelievable. These guys were grazing at the end of the range. So I didn't record every shot. I didn't have my tripod with me, but I did my best to pick up a number of swings. And I'll tell you, my brother Michael hadn't played in two years. And look at his golf swing. It's it's just so crazy, you know. He's just a, a, a really good natural golfer. Let me put that on the front of the green. Pretty good shot. So I hit four iron. Put it up into the wind and drew it back towards the hole. I had a pretty short birdie putt I couldn't convert. So here's Michael into a par five here. He plays Mura baby blades. He is not fooling around. Get on up there. Nice. So look at this. I'm putting with a ping answer. Old school, the original. Isn't this awesome? What are you putting with, man? The Silver Scott 1932 McGregor. Oh, the old yeah. Tommy Armour, eh? Yeah. Very nice. Pyrotone shaft. <laughs> the green shaft with extra long grip. Cool. Michael has an amazing collection of older clubs and he even owns Perfect. the driver that belonged to the Duke of Windsor. So here he is after another nice drive, punching it up there on the green. And I wound up in the, the trees on the right you know, but I punched a nine iron up there just over the back of the green. Here, Michael's giving it a roll with mm. his old school putter. Good try. <laughs> I'll tell you, that putter of his wants to flip right over. But here I am trying to convert this birdie here. And I give it my best shot. Oh, it does break the way I saw it. Now this hole's absolutely spectacular. I pushed it out to the right. I wasn't coming over the top. I realized I was forgetting my OTT move, which which totally makes me block it. Michael piped it right up the middle. But I want to point out, look at how short Michael's driver is. This was cut down for his son, about 42, 43 inches long, something like that. And it really helps him stay in his posture, and, and he pipes it out there pretty good. It's a nice little shot into this par four after that great drive. I was in the trees Excellent. and had to scramble. Here we are on the ninth hole. We both pipe drives. I hit his short driver and smoked it. I only had 70 yards into the green. And here I am. I just threw it up there. I don't know, maybe about a 10, 12 foot putt for birdie. And here's Michael giving his birdie putt a run for the money. 
gets it a little bit too firm. These greens were pretty fast, I'll tell you. And here I am sizing up my putt. I really wanted this one. I had several short birdie putts and I had missed them. But this one essentially, I said, don't overread the break. Just put it on the edge of the cup. So I settled in here and gave it a roll. What a wonderful way to finish nine holes. And here's my wonderful brother with a six foot comebacker. Rolls it right in. All right. Great round, man. Thank you for showing awesome. me the course. We're going to play here for years and years, man. Yeah. That's a good last hole. All right. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working uh, on this stuff? On the driver, at least 50 to 60 yards. It's dynamite. It's crazy. I want you to swing over the top. You heard me. Now hear me out. My swing is feeling effortless with power. Don't try to rebuild your swing if you're over the top. Learn to use it to your advantage. What do you notice about it? It's just easy. It's just easy. I don't have a whole bunch of thoughts, just one. Just come inside, hit down. Dropping it under causes pushes and hooks, and it almost ruined my back. When I started my swing evolution, I was a terrible golfer. Today, my channel has over 25 million views and I even got to swing as Ben Hogan on the Golf Channel. Click the link below to experience your very own miracle. Trans